Welcome back to Aaron's Games. I'm Aaron and today I'm going to tell you about my next live stream. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you will know that I do monthly live streams. I'm not going to become a dedicated weekly streamer, um, I just don't have the time or the uh, mental spoons to be able to do that. But I like to do a stream once a month to play some games, chat to you guys. This time I'm going to be playing Dead by Daylight, but with a special twist. Uh, I'm going to be bringing some special guests in to play along with me. And we're going to be playing a game that we invented, so it's not actually the game of Dead by Daylight, it's a game within a game that we've kind of come up with the rules for uh, that we'll be playing for you guys live on stream. The game is called Wraith and Seek and it's very simple. It's basically hide and seek but with four players doing the seeking, one player doing the hiding. So normally the objective of the game in Dead by Daylight is for the killer to find all of the survivors and chase them down, kill them and hook them and blah blah blah, sacrifice them to the entity, win the game. But we've decided to flip it over and have it that the survivors are hunting the killer. So uh, the Wraith is a killer that can go completely invisible. Um, so the idea of the game is at the start of the game the killer will deliberately hook all the survivors to two states which means that they'll be able to be killed using the memento mori, the red mori thing which allows them to kill them outright. Um, so once that's done then the Wraith goes off and finds somewhere to hide and goes invisible and stays in that one place. But the Wraith actually goes fully invisible if they don't move. So the killer has to kind of do a little side to side shuffle <laughs> to make sure that their, sip, their shimmer can still be seen. Uh, once they have notified everyone else that they're ready to go, the survivors have to go hunting around the map to find where the killer is. Uh, the first person to, to find them is the winner and gets killed. I know, what a prize. And then the other three survivors have to wait with the body while the, the wraith goes and hides again. And um, the idea being that each time the person who uh, finds the, the wraith gets more points. So we haven't established the point scoring system, we're still working on the finer details of it, but first, first one to find will get lots of points and then uh, scrolling down up to fourth. Fourth place will get no points, they just get they don't even get killed, they get hooked and sacrificed to the entity as punishment. Um, there'll also be a sub game running for the Wraith players, uh, how long they can successfully stay hidden in one particular place. Um, so we'll try and figure out a way of counting down, uh, having a countdown mechanic for that as well. We played some test games of it and I found a really cool place um, and I, st I think I stayed hidden for about 10 minutes. <laughs> And none of the players found me for ages. Um, so there's lots of good, interesting places to hide. Obviously, the maps will be random as well, so we don't know um, who's going to be... Well, well, you don't know which map you're going to get. And obviously, then you have to find the Wraith being almost totally invisible. So we'll be playing it live on stream on Thursday the 15th of April at 8pm. Hmm, that happens to be my birthday week. My birthday's uh, Tuesday the 13th of April. The more you know. Uh, and as I said, I'll be joined by some special guests. So we've got Hayley and Ollie, who you will know from the Among Us video. We've also got Lewis and Ollie's partner, Ash, to make up the full team of five. Look out for the link being posted on my social media channels, handily linked down here. And um, I'll see you there. Bye! Bye! <laughs>